Uh, good morning. Good morning, everybody. This is Charles with the Exodus Logistics Learning Centers. Um, dispatcher 101 training for beginners ongoing series, as well as the um, Dispatcher 101 training for beginners seminar series. Uh, today is Sunday, October 18th, 2020. Uh, and this is a special edition of today's tidbits. So today's tidbit is about value. Um, adding value, what type of value are you receiving as it relates to um, the trainings that you are going through for becoming an independent freight dispatcher. So if you are, and this is not a knock to anyone, all I'm saying is for those of you who are on the fence deciding whether to take some type of training, you might want to ask yourself a few questions, you know, what value does the training provide? What is the cost or what are the costs involved in those trainings? And is it worth the investment? So as it relates to our training, Dispatcher 101 uh, Training for Beginners seminar series, we offer a relatively inexpensive way to provide you with a ton of content for you and in order for you to decide if you want to continue to pursue being an independent freight dispatcher. So for $99, it's a pretty cheap way to um, attend one of our Zoom seminars and you will learn how to um, acquire carriers, get carriers um, under a dispatcher agreement, what all the forms and documents are uh, needed for that process. Um, <clears throat> Uh, such as the dispatch agreement, the profile sheet, uh, any other documents that you need to receive from the carriers prior to booking loads. And we go over what those documents are and what they mean. We break them down in detail so that you as a beginner dispatcher, uh, dispatching company, will have a clear understanding of what the purpose of each document is for. Um, our audience are those who know very little, if anything, about being a freight dispatcher. Okay. Then we go over navigating load boards. Um, what is a load board? What is the purpose of the load boards? What are the features of the load boards that separate one load board from another load board? What are the different levels involved on load boards? How to book loads on the load boards? How to navigate the load boards? Uh, number three, talking to brokers. We have a script or we have a conversation, if you will, not even a script but a conversation with brokers, what does that dialogue consist of so that you will be able to use that dialogue and that example as a template for your own business when you are calling and talking to brokers. We call brokers, talk to them live. It's not a big deal, it's not an issue, um, but we want to give you a, um, a way and show you a way of how it's done. Um, how to negotiate the loads, how to book the loads, how to add in your rate on top of that rate that's posted, things like that, how to do the math that's involved in all that stuff. Um, completing the packets. So this piggybacks off of talking to the brokers because once you talk to a broker about a load, um, they're gonna want to get you set up, get your carrier set up with that brokerage if your carrier is not already set up with that brokerage. So what is the paperwork? What are the forms and documents that are involved in that? What do those, what do those forms mean? How to break that down into layman's terms to get through all the red tape and all the um, confusing jargon to its very common, most common denominator. Um, booking loads, number five, uh, it goes with number four and number three. So numbers three through five go together, talking to brokers, um, completing the packets, booking the loads, and number six, even load planning. Because once your carrier um, books that load and he's under, he or she is under that load, moving that load from the shipper to the receiver, you as a dispatcher, um, I would assume, will be planning their next load, sending them to areas where inbound and outbound freight um, is, there's an abundance of inbound and outbound freight. So you increase your chances of getting your carrier's next load by keeping them in areas where it's freight heavy, so to speak, okay? And then number seven, invoicing the carriers. If you are not using a factory company or if you don't have a partnership with a factory company 
And if your um, carrier is using either the broker's payment options or their factoring company, then you will invoice your carrier once they deliver that load and get that POD. Okay. And then also in the seminars, we provide three, not one, not two, but three free ebooks. We provide a glossary. We provide all the forms and documents that you need to complete the workflow of being a freight dispatcher from the beginning inception to the completion. So, so all that content and the explanation of the content to be packed into a $99 price in such a way that it will help you determine whether or not you want to continue to pursue being a freight dispatcher as a business or as a career. So what, what an, an inexpensive way to do that, right? Not charging $1,000, $1,500 or $800 or whatever the numbers are, right? We are giving you less for less than a hundred bucks. We are giving you so much content that you will be able to make a clear decision whether you need to or whether you want to um, continue to be an independent freight dispatcher. So, um, so our seminars are usually on Saturdays at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time, but sometimes I'll announce them a little bit um, uh, differently on different days, depending on the scheduling but usually they're on Saturdays. Um, we just had a seminar this past Saturday. It was great. It was about 17 people, I believe. So, um, and it was very informative. People were very happy that they took the seminar because of the content they received. Some people were like a little upset that they didn't find out about the seminar sooner because they paid for something that they're not getting value out of. So my whole key is value. I want to add value to you. Um, the blessings will come to me later on. I want to make sure that you are getting what you actually need and I want to show you what you will actually be doing as a dispatcher yourself from someone who's done it for years. So uh, I want to provide that resource to you at an inexpensive um, cost. So look forward to hearing from you. I can be reached at Exodus Logistics LLC at yahoo.com or 757-695-9565. Enjoy your weekend.